y'all and welcome to vlogtober day 23. I am so glad that vlogtober is almost over. Um, but I can say that, you know, this is just something I do on the normal. So it's like, okay, vlogging every day for the month of October. Cool, kudos. Um, anyways, me and Sky are headed out to Trader Joe's. Um, <laughs> I have my bag, so like this is the one I take with me from Trader Joe's that I bought to put cold items in. Um, yeah, just to keep my items cold. And then I use like my Food Lion ones to like put non-cold items. So I have found this um, Pinterest recipe where someone made um, like a certain type of sandwich from the items at Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna be looking for the items here in this video. Um, or I'll just show like a picture of what I need to get if I get it. Okay, cool. I'll test it out. Um, and if not, you know, hey, oh well. Um, anyways, I do want to try to make like some pumpkin cookies, but I think that Trader Joe's has a great pumpkin cookie or chocolate chip cookie, um, like already in a can and I just have to add certain things to it. So I think I'm going to try to get that. Um, and then of course to try it. Um, eventually so I'm not sure if I will turn this vlog into a day in my life of us going shopping at Trader Joe's or if I'm just gonna turn it into um, a couple days um, with me until I can get those cookies made and of course until I can get um, that sandwich made because it looks so good but anyways y'all I'll see you at Trader Joe's All right, we're at Trader Joe's and they have, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown Pumpkins. Looks like they're $5. We will be getting two of those to cart. All right, so I am leaving Trader Joe's. Okay, I found everything I need in order to make that sandwich from Pinterest. Um, what I am going to do is, um, anyways, this truck got in the way, but um, what I was gonna say was that I got everything I needed. Um, look, a little extra probably, but I only spent 150. I thought I would spend more, but that's fine. It just gives me the rest to spend at the actual regular um, grocery store. So, I am about to head home soon. I think I need to just go ahead and get some dinner out for the family because um, I just wasn't, just wasn't thinking. And it's already like 5.34. All right, so I picked up some ready to bake pizza dough. Great for breadsticks, rolls, and calzones too. That's good to know. Uh, some shredded mozzarella cheese, spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. These are roasted with red peppers. And for spice, they're fully cooked. Um, some turkey, corn dogs, mini beef tacos. Some uncured applewood smoked salami. Got the Trader Joe's banana and cream and strawberries and cream yogurt. Turkey burgers, four raw burgers in here. And then the Bambino pizza for my dough. That's all my cold items. All right, so let me show y'all the rest of the stuff <clears throat> that I got from Trader Joe's. All right, so I forgot that this is in a separate bag. I got the vegetable fried rice. 
the mandarin orange chicken, of course, as always. <clears throat> I also picked up the four pack of ciabatta rolls. Um, this is what I need as part of how to make uh, what I showed you guys in that Pinterest video, the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Needed that as well. Got the organic romaine and chicory blend. It's just a blend of romaine, um, frisi, and radicchio. Basically just salad and some buttermilk ranch to go along with it, along with some minced garlic. I picked up some cut and peeled carrots. Even though I like mine shredded, I can just use the shredder uh, to shred some carrots on top of the salad, along with the mini cucumbers and the mini um, pearl grape tomatoes. I also need this for the sandwich part. Um, so I'll use half for the sandwich and then, or just probably a couple for the sandwich and then some for the salad. Got some fresh cut fruit, the Pinot Grigio um, to make another wine cake with, and then the rose and fish. This one is $3.49, $3 I think this one is about the same. So, yeah. all right, I got some pumpkin bagels. Last one's accident that Mo will get to them before I could try them, but everybody else tried them but me. Pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. We bought this so that she can use the pumpkin waffle maker to make some little pumpkin waffles. The banana bread mix. Honey crisp apples. Brownie cookies, so brookies. Grape mango fruit leather buttons. Strawberry mango fruit leather buttons. Um, apple raspberry fruit leather wrap. Roasted seaweed. These are the sea salt ones and then we have the those to teriyaki ones because the six pack of the sea salt was gone. Some baked cheese crunchies. Found some Trader Joe's pizza seasoning. Let's see if this is any good. Looks like you just add pizza pizzazz to any dish. We'll see. And some chocolate and vanilla French macaroons. I'll have to keep these frozen. Um, organic gold potatoes. Apple, banana, organic fruit sauce crusher. It's just apple sauce. Um, and I also got some caramel sea salt bacon chips. I'm going to try to make something this weekend with that. And some butter croissants. Nice, big, and buttery. So that's it for my Trader Joe's haul. All right, got the mozzarella cheese. This is the only one I could find. Um, the ciabatta rolls, um, artisan style bread from Trader Joe's, four rolls, mini grape tomatoes, the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto, and I also have some olive oil, some black pepper, this is the grind, and the sea salt, but I also have some leaf oregano. All right, I'm going to take this and cut it in half. All right, so they're cut in half, I'm going to lay them right here. Next, I'm gonna um, spread some of this. This is just vegan kale, cashew, basil, pesto, which really is just made of kale, olive oil blend, water, basil, cashew, butter, um, and a couple other things. Yeah, y'all would think that this probably tastes really gross, but it actually smells really good. So I hope it tastes as good as it smells. All right, so in the video, there was cheese balls, mozzarella cheese balls that come in like a sauce. That's not what I found, so I do have it um, ready. I am gonna just put a little bit of cheese in certain places, probably, I guess, towards the middle. All right, I'm just gonna use one teaspoon of the olive oil to put on top. All right, we're gonna put this in the air fryer on 370 for five minutes. 
And if your air fryer won't let you do 370, just do 370. All right, y'all, the timer went off. And, you know, honestly, it looks delicious. I ain't even gonna lie, it looks delicious. Two of my tomatoes, or three of them came off, but that's okay. I can just place them back where they need to be. Y'all, this was so good. I'll make this again tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna be making the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookies from Trader Joe's. It tells you on the back what you will need in order to make these cookies. This one package here will make a total of about 24 cookies. So once you open it up, you guys can see that there's oatmeal in it and you also can see that there's chocolate chunks. You are going to need this and then one egg, two tablespoons of water, and a whole stick of butter softened and melted. So I have taken my salted butter, melted it in the microwave and made some of it soft. I then poured all of it in and you're gonna mix all of this up. So the one container of the chocolate chunk um, cookie mix as well as the two tablespoons of water and then the one egg. Mix it all up until it is all mixed up and it will take a couple different times to get it mixed up. Once you do, you're gonna scoop it and put it on parchment paper into the oven on 350. These are gonna go in the oven for 14 minutes. Meanwhile, after they cook, let them cool and definitely give them a try. They are really great and I can honestly say that I would buy this again if I um, went back to Trader Joe's. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Vlogtober Day 23. I hope that you all have enjoyed and tune in for Vlogtober Day 24 tomorrow.